Welcome to the Lenape High School Renaissance Senior Pinning Ceremony. Could everyone please find a seat? We are honored to have so many families attending tonight's ceremony. My name is Megan Cashman, and I'm the proud advisor of the Renaissance Program. In about eight months, you'll be attending the Lenape High School graduation ceremony and be watching members of the class of 2016 move into the next phase of their lives. We know without the support of you and your family, your child's success would be limited. Tonight's ceremony allows you and your child to renew the strength and bond family bond that already exists. Parents and guardians, you have the opportunity to pledge your continued support to your child. Seniors, in turn, you have the opportunity to pledge your ability to honor that trust. Before we begin tonight's ceremony, we would like to introduce our distinguished guests for the evening. Please give a warm welcome to the Lenape Regional High School District Director of Curriculum and Planning, Ms. Heather Zanakis. <laughs> Board of Education members from Mount Laurel, Ms. Paula Lee and Mr. John Jeffers. <laughs> and Monkey High School Principal, Mr. Tony Catani. <laughs> Again, it is an honor to have you all here to celebrate this new chapter in your child's life. At this point in the ceremony, I would like to turn the microphone over to two senior members of Renaissance, Ms. Erica Johnson and Ms. Alexandra Pappas. They will be guiding you for the rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Mrs. Cashman. We are honored to be a part of the senior pinning ceremony. To start our ceremony, we would like to welcome the Lenape JROTC Color Guard for the presentation of the colors and the Lenape Concert Choir to the floor to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Everyone, please stand.
Please be seated. Thank you to our JROTC Color Guard, led by Sergeant Gant and Colonel Sheriff, and the Lenape Concert Choir, led by Mr. Moore. To open our special ceremony this evening, please welcome Lenape Regional High School District Director of Curriculum and Planning, Mrs. Zanikis. Good evening. It is an honor to attend this evening's senior planning ceremony as a representative of the Lenape Regional High School District Administration. Tonight is a special event as we recognize the important role of both the parents and the students. As educators, we see firsthand the success of students who have supportive families. We thank you parents for being involved along each step of the way with your children, their upbringing, and their education. Students, we thank you for taking part in this evening to celebrate the people who helped you arrive at this point in your education and this milestone in your life. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sinakis. Our second speaker for this evening is Mr. Jeffers, the Mount Laurel representative on the Board of Education for the Lenape Regional High School District. Good evening, everybody. On behalf of the Lenape Region High School Board of Education, Mrs. Lee and myself and the other board members, I'd like to welcome everybody tonight. I remember a couple years ago when the ceremony was happening, there wasn't a really big crowd. It was because the Phillies were playing in the playoffs. That didn't happen that year. But I understood the loyalty of Philly sports fans. Now, some of them may be Mets fans, Anybody? Yeah. A few. Loyalty, I understand. Mr. Catani is very loyal. He was a Cherokee for a while, and he bled orange. He was at uh, Shawnee for a while. He bled blue. Now he's at Lanapy. Bleeds red. It's Phillies. He's a Mets fan, but it's okay. What's happening tonight is really about family. It's something with the seniors and the parents with a bond. Parents and seniors, <coughs> to see you out here tonight is very special. Seniors, the parents sitting next to you, they're your biggest fans. They're showing you that tonight. But with that, what I've talked about in the past is communication. It's very, very important with the family, with the seniors. Parents, a lot of us for the last couple years are the dumbest people they know. But seniors, remember, as you get older, we get smarter. But keep the communications open. The cell phone is huge, very good for communications, but we're losing the verbal communications that we need. Back in the day, we didn't have cell phones when I was growing up. We didn't have answering machines, voicemail, we had none of that. When the phone rang, I would answer the phone. They'd ask for my father, he was a doctor. I'd go in the next room and say, Dad, are you here? He'd say, no. I'd go back to the phone and say, yeah, I'd take a message. That worked when he was there. When he wasn't there and I said no, and I had to take the message, I had to remember it. That was kind of uh, difficult at times. But now we have voicemail all the time. And the seniors, you're using it more and more. The parents were using it also. But we need that verbal communication, especially with the family. When you go out seniors, if you go to college, you're not going to be able to text the presentation. You're going to have to verbally give it. 
If you go out for a job interview, you can't text. You have to speak. A lot of the seniors, well, all the seniors, for the last three and a half, almost three and a half years, you've had Mr. Catani. You've been with him more than you've been with your parents. He makes you verbally communicate with them. You can't text him. You have to communicate with him verbally. That's an important trait. That's something that you're going to need as you go on to school, or if you go to the military, or you get a job as a mechanic or something. Those are all good things. College isn't for everybody, but I think everybody should at least look at it, experience it. Okay, some of the people in the world today are very successful without graduating from college, but most of those people that are successful had a plan, and that plan worked. There's a number of them who had a plan that didn't work, but we don't hear about those. So when you get the opportunity, if you have the opportunity, take that opportunity and learn. At the end of the year, or in eight months, you're going to get a piece of paper. That piece of paper says Lenape High School has Mr. Katani's uh, autograph. has a lot of other things, but what that paper says is you have the ability to learn. Use that ability. Use it the best that you can in whatever you do. an opportunity, they say, don't reinvent the wheel. Maybe you have to. Or maybe you have to change something that's been in the past. I talked about the cell phone earlier. Years back, before the cell phones, they had a telegraph machine. You hit buttons, buttons uh, spelt words. Words were transmitted across airwaves. Now we have text messaging, it's the same thing. Somebody reinvented that wheel. Earlier than that, the cavemen scratched drawings on the walls. Those drawings communicated something to the people. Now we have emojis. I just learned that word this year, so <laughs> pretty special. But those are the things that we have to learn. We have to learn to adapt. We have to learn to create. And you seniors have an opportunity to do that. But don't forget where you came from. Don't forget your parents. Parents, don't forget your students. I have one little thing, and I'll close with this. Back when my kids went to school, went to college, didn't hear from them for a while. I tried texting. I wasn't very good at it at the time. I tried calling. I got their voicemail. Nothing was working. So I went old school, got a piece of paper and a pen, and wrote to them and said, I understand that you must be very, very busy learning uh, in the classes, learning about the students around you, learning how to live by yourself. I understand that. I didn't get negative. I tried to stay positive. I also wrote in my letter, I said, I'm enclosing a check for $50 so that you can go out and have a nice time with your friends and forget about school for a while. Now it probably cost $100, but back then it was $50. Wrote it, put it in an envelope, Sent it off. Never put the check in. Three days later, I got a call. <laughs> Sorry, you guys probably can't use that because they know now. But those are things. But even with the checks, I'm, hopefully your seniors know what the checks are, how to write them, how to how to you know do a bank book, not just the debit. You got to learn the old-fashioned ways too. All right. Don't look at the future. Look at the past. The past will teach you the future, or guide you. The other thing, parents, if you have the ability where you can help your students, help your seniors to pay for their college, it's a great thing, it's very helpful. I have a tie here from UConn that cost me $100,000. <laughs> My son has a t-shirt that cost him 10, but this is the most expensive piece that I have. It's a great thing, it's a great opportunity. Those of you who are going into the service, thank you very much. We need you people too. Those of you who are going on to be the mechanics, thank you, we need you. Those who are going to school, give it your effort, give it your all. And hopefully you come out and be successful and you can take care of me and the older people that are sitting next to you. Thank you, good luck for the rest of the year and I'll see everybody at graduation. We would like to welcome the Lenape Concert Choir to the floor again for our musical selection.
Thank you, Mr. Moore and the Lenape Concert Choir. Welcome to the stage our senior Renaissance members who will be reciting the, the pinning creeds and pledge along with the families in the audience. Big round of applause for the continued membership and support of the Renaissance Club. Congratulations. 
congratulations on making this important pledge to each other. At this time, we would like to welcome Mr. Catani, Lenape High School principal, to our closing remarks. Good evening. It is so encouraging looking out at this massive crowd we have arranged here in our auditorium. I have to believe in my nine years, I believe this is the biggest participation that we've had in our senior benefit. So I appreciate all of you coming, all the seniors to tell their parents about this event, um, because you're not really knowing what you're getting into if you've had a senior before. You know, this, this is truly one of my pleasures, just being a small part of this program. Our Renaissance organization has done an outstanding job of creating an atmosphere where academic excellence is supported and rewarded at Lenape. Renaissance and its advisor, Megan Cashman, right over here who organized this event, is commended for introducing programs, that's right, and, for, and promoting, honor, honoring, and celebrating academic achievement. Now this pivoting ceremony is yet another example of their dedication to improving the quality and high level of commitment to our partnerships with the school and our community. Tonight, our seniors made a promise to their parents, and in turn, they received the same commitment from their, parent, from their parents. This promise was to work together through this hectic, culminating year of high school. But it is much more than that. This promise, commitment, and strong sense of unity could not come at a better time. This is the beginning of the senior year, and your lives are the promise of all kinds of changes. This is the perfect time to consciously take a step closer to our loved ones and listen to what they have to say. It is a proven fact that there's a positive correlation between successful students and parents, successful students and parents and guardians that are actively involved in their child's education. And here at Lenape and throughout the Lenape Regional High School District, we are highly successful because of your commitment to your child's education. Now, I'm often acknowledged for Lenape's success and sometimes our shortcomings. And I always recognize our wonderful staff and boast about our students. But the reason Lenape is successful is because our parents have provided the, the foundational set of core values to live by. And I truly believe that. Now parents, these seniors, your children, are taking a huge step into their future as they go off to college or into the job market and are becoming more independent. Parents, never forget to take time to keep the lines of communication open, as Mr. Jeffers talked about. The more we talk to our children, and they are still children, and encourage honest conversation, the more they will include us in what's going on in their lives. I commend you for your participation in this event. You are your child's number one role model in, in their life. I encourage all parents to continue the love and support for their children, even as they yearn for their independence. And seniors, I commend you for your, your presence here tonight. Like I said, this is the largest participation we've ever had. But your participation in the ceremony speaks to the realization of how important your family is to you. You will soon be stepping out of high school in the student mode and into the real world. Never forget to take time to keep the lines of communication open with your parents. There is no one in life, there is no one in your life who cares for you and loves you more than the parent or guardian sitting next to you right now. So don't lose that relationship. Don't take it for granted. Remember the promise you made tonight and take it to heart and always do your best to make your parents proud. I know from personal experience I never wanted to disappoint, disappoint my parents. I wasn't always a principal at Lenape High School, but yes, I was at the orange and the blue school. Sad to say that. <laughs> but it made me a better person for Lenape. Despite what some students think, that teachers sleep in their closets at night and they pop out in the morning like, and they teach like robots. No, I, you know, I, was, I was a young boy once, but as a child and the man who stands before you tonight, I would much rather be punished by my parents than ever disappoint them. And with this, I look back on my educational and professional career and truly believe that the most important factor in my development and success was and is the love of my the support of my family. I'm commonly asked by senior parents how important the senior penny night is at Lenape. And I tell the parents that it's, it's what you make of it. Think about what you're saying tonight and use it as a springboard for future discussions. 
Okay? Yeah. Everywhere I go, my daughters, my four daughters, and one is here tonight, people always tell me to cherish the moment you have it because it goes so quickly. Now, I want to tell you this. This is something I, I'm not trying to ask for anything here. Yes, the students know this probably. Today is my birthday. Right? <laughs> big board out front to let the entire community know that today was my 41st birthday. So, and I say that, yes, I'm proud to be 41 years old, but I tell you that because my mother and father called me at 1043, the time that I was born on October 22nd, 1974, today in my office to sing me happy birthday. Okay? So, even when you're 41 years old, 51 years old, your parents are still your biggest fans. And students remember, your parents, they see you as a child on the first day of school at that bus stop, genuinely scared to get on the bus and probably clinging to your leg, or holding your hand as you walk down the street, or wanting to hang out with you, with your mom or dad more than with your friends. Or when you pulled up from work, they were running out to your car to meet you and give you a big hug from the day at work. That's the moments that your parents think about when they see you. Whether you're dressed for the prom, graduation, going out with your friends, you're still their little girl and their little boy. These are the moments they may be reflecting on during their last year of high school. So be prepared and be kind because they are your biggest fans. And you may be reflecting on the same moments when you're in your dorm room at the college of your dreams next year, thinking about your parents, your siblings, your grandparents, of all those special memories that you've created within the Lenape community. So in closing, I thank everyone for coming here tonight and taking part in this memorable ceremony. It's a wonderful group of young people and I'm proud to call seniors. And your attendance here tonight as parents and students show your commitment to each other and further validates how bright your futures will shine. So seniors, keep up the great work. Lenape Pride. Yeah.